Greetings my dears in love and light. Seven ways to remember your dreams. Now why might you want to remember your dreams just quick? Well, you might want to meet up with someone in a dream. You might arrange with a friend or your partner to meet them in dream time and you want to remember what happens, right? You might want to go somewhere in your dreams. You might want to find out what you're doing while your consciousness is away, while your physical body is sleeping. You might want to set the intention to meet up with a family member or a friend that's passed. So here are seven ways to help you to remember your dreams. Number one, train the subconscious to remember. Now the subconscious accepts commands through repetition. So you could say something like, I remember my dreams. I remember my dreams. I remember my dreams. Now it must be I because the subconscious accepts the command as I. So you don't say you remember your dreams because you need to be talking to yourself, to your own subconscious. And it needs to be in the present tense too. Because if it's in the future, then it'll always be in the future, won't it? And the subconscious mind only hears the present tense anyway. So it needs to be in the present tense. And it can't be in the negative either. So you can't say, don't forget your dreams, don't forget your dreams. Because the subconscious will only hear the word forget. So, I remember my dreams. That is what I do. That is what I am. I am good at remembering. I remember my dreams. So the subconscious accepts that command as that is the way I am and that is what I do. And your subconscious being your big strong slave of a mind that responds to conscious commands, it will do as you tell it. So say this to yourself like 10 times before bed and the more you do it, so if you do it every day, the more it trains the subconscious. So it becomes like habit and the subconscious accepts the command that this is just what we do every night. I remember my dreams. So keep repeating that to yourself every night before bed. Give it a few days and you may well start remembering your dreams more often. Number two is to train your brain to relax and wake up slowly. A study in 2011 found that people who have more theta brainwave activity after being awoken from REM sleep are better at recalling dreams. Now theta brainwave activity occurs when you're very relaxed. So by practicing more meditation, you can train your brain to be more relaxed more often, always returning to that default theta brainwave relaxed state. But when you wake up in the morning, instead of thinking, quick, I need to remember my dream and write it down and getting excited, just stay relaxed and just generally feel for those last thoughts you had or last emotions you had. So get excited, but then write it down. So stay still, stay relaxed, and that will help you to remember your dreams. And as I said, by practicing meditation frequently, you'll be more relaxed as a person. Trust me on this. And that will help you remember your dreams because you'll be more likely to be in the lower alpha or theta brainwave states. Number three is to set an alarm during the night. Now, if we wake up during REM sleep, that's dream time, we're more likely to remember our dreams. Because while we're asleep, that part of the brain responsible for creating memories is offline. So if we wake up during REM sleep, we can snatch a bit of what we were doing, just as our memory making part of the brain comes online, and therefore we remember. So if you set an alarm during the night, Hopefully, you'll wake yourself up during REM sleep, which occurs in intervals in blocks during the night. So a good time to set your alarm for is after about five hours of sleep, because then the REM dream time blocks of sleep start to get a bit longer and a bit more frequent, increasing the chances of you hitting it when you wake yourself up. Number four on how to remember your dreams is to take naps. 
Now our system has it that we sleep all night and we work all day and then veg after that. But really we should be just sleeping when we're tired. But that's a bit impossible when we work a nine to five if you know what I mean. But the Spanish, they take a siesta in the afternoon. What a good idea. Now by taking naps, if you allot yourself a nap in the afternoon of say an hour, you're more likely to wake up during REM sleep. I find that if I take a nap in the day, I tend to dream more anyway. And I tend to wake up during that REM sleep and therefore remember my dreams. So if it's possible and you have time, perhaps on a weekend, take some naps now and again when you feel tired and you'll be more likely to remember your dreams. Number five on how to remember your dreams is to have a good old lay-in on a Sunday morning. Now you're more likely to remember your dreams by having a lay-in. The reason for that is that more REM sleep, dream time, occurs in the last four hours of sleep or towards the end of your sleep than it does in the first four hours. So if you lay in and have lots more sleep, there's more REM sleep occurring towards the end of your sleeping and the blocks of REM dream time are longer. So if you were to lay in and sleep for about 10 or 11 hours, you're much more likely to wake up during your REM sleep in the morning than if you slept for a shorter time. Number six on how to remember your dreams is to keep a dream journal. Now this is a well-known one. So once you've relaxed in the morning and let those dreams come to you, let those memories come to you and really feel for those emotions that you experienced in that dream, then get up and write in your dream journal. Now we'd often forget our dreams after a few days anyway. It's amazing, you could have three weeks worth of dreams and not write them down and you'd forget most of them anyway. So that helps you to remember long term. But also by keeping a dream journal, it's like brain training, mind training. <laughs> well, subconscious training. It's teaching your subconscious mind that this is what we do. We remember our dreams. I remember my dreams. So it's just more training for your subconscious to keep a dream journal. And number seven, my last point on how to help you to remember your dreams is to take B vitamins. So I take a B vitamin complex daily and that helps me to remember my dreams. B vitamins help stimulate healthy brain activity and memory. So leave me and others a comment to let us know what helps you to remember your dreams and what experiences you've had. And I wish you happy dreaming that you remember using these tips that I've mentioned today. So don't forget to click subscribe and that bell button to receive notifications for regular spiritual inspiration on your journey through life. Like and share also because we're raising a mass vibration together. So go now in love and peace.